These are the top four TikTok ad campaigns that's helped us scale to a $10 million business. Quick caveat, the number one goal for all of these campaigns is to generate leads and book appointments. So if you're running ads for e-com, you may be able to get some benefit from these strategies, but might not be the most helpful. All right, number one, instant pages or lead forms. This version is probably the easiest to get started with. And the benefit to lead pages is it usually yields the lowest cost per lead. So lead pages are a way for you to collect information native in the TikTok platform itself. So when you click a button, what will happen is a form will pop up and it'll have your name, email, and phone number. Those are the basic pieces of information that you can also add in additional questions. But what that allows you to do is collect the lead and you can set up automations where it could send over to your CRM for you or your sales team to be able to follow up with. The best way that I've found to use lead forms is when you're setting up the lead form, you have a headline and that headline is, hey, learn X, Y, and Z, opt in to get this free training, name, phone number and email then once they enter in their information it goes to a second page that says oh step two you're not done just yet tap the link down below you can either send them to a bsl page or you can send them to a calendar page and you're going to have a call to action to take them somewhere else because not only do you want their first name email and phone number but you also want them to take an additional action to book an appointment so you want to make sure that you allow them to self-book their appointment so that you or your sales team don't have to constantly follow up now one other thing that i will say about lead forms or instant pages on TikTok is it usually yields a lower quality lead because it's very easy. And a lot of times when you click a button on an ad, all of that information, name, email, phone number are things that you've already pre-saved in TikTok when you signed up. So it'll automatically be filled in. And it's very easy for someone just to click a button and then click another button. And then now they're in your funnel. Now, if you find yourself with low quality leads coming from lead forms, there's one thing that you can try. I'm going to pull this up here and you can see this lead form has a question right after they enter in their information. And it says, hey, this is for coaches, consultants, experts, marketing agencies. Do you have this type of business? Yes or no? And no in parentheses, please do not continue. So this allows you to get best of both worlds, the lowest cost per lead, hopefully from the lead form or the instant page, and then also an increase in quality by not just entering in name, phone number, and email, they have to answer another question that further qualifies them. Now this isn't our favorite strategy, but it's the easiest to implement and usually gets your lowest cost per lead. So if you're just starting out, you don't have a lot of leads, you're looking for a lot of appointments on your calendar, this is probably the one that I would recommend that you start with. Now, I remember we had a client, his name was Matt, and he was able to scale up to a million dollar business and his whole entire marketing strategy was just using lead form. Now with Matt and his specific scenario, his offer was right in the lead form. So it can work. All right, campaign strategy number two, retargeting campaigns. This is gonna be your lowest cost per appointment campaign that you will run across the board, not just on TikTok, but on Google and Facebook and any ad platform. Now what a retargeting campaign is, is you're gonna retarget the people who've landed on your website, landed on certain pages of your funnel. You're gonna retarget them with specific ads that overcomes the objection or the reason why they didn't book a time. A lot of times they didn't get enough information from your website or your page. Questions weren't answered. Maybe they didn't see case studies that they were looking for. And so you wanna give them another opportunity to book an appointment with you. There are two big audiences that you're gonna use retargeting campaigns for. Number one is someone who's filled out a form or landed on a page and has not booked an appointment with you. And number two is another more advanced sales strategy. Someone who has booked an appointment with you where you're gonna send very valuable video to them. To keep it simple for you guys, for audience segmentation, the number one audience that you're going to want to target with retargeting campaigns is someone who has opted in with a form or someone who's landing on a page but has not booked an appointment. If you can segment that audience and retarget them with ads, this is the campaign where you're going to see the lowest cost per booked appointment. All right, campaign number three and campaign number four are very similar but slightly different. Our favorite is campaign number three. This is what gets us the highest return on investment. So it's a conversion campaign that's going to go to an opt-in page where they have a form very very similar to the instant page of the lead form. However, we're taking them off of the platform and getting their first name, email, and phone number. We're increasing the friction a little bit, which is increasing the quality. So we're gonna send them to an opt-in page. They're gonna enter in first name, email, phone number. Then they're gonna be redirected to a VSL page. If you don't know what a VSL is, it's a video sales letter. The point of that page is to disqualify any bad fits and to further qualify people who we want to work with. They go through, look at some testimonials, look at some case studies, watch the video, it's about five minutes long to further qualify them. Then they go to another page, they fill out an application and then book a time. And the conversion event that we're looking for is someone who books an appointment. So you can see we go through opt-in page, we go through VSL page, we go through an application, and then they go to a calendar, then they book a time. This is the highest quality appointment that you can possibly get because they 
they're going through a ton of friction before they commit to meeting with our team. Now, in campaign number four, we're gonna send them straight to the VSL page. We're gonna remove the opt-in page. And in most cases, you'll see a lower cost per appointment. However, you remove the opportunity to capture all that traffic that is going to the VSL page, and you don't collect the name, email, and phone number of all of those people. Now, you can have you or your sales team call those people, text those people, email those people. You can follow up with them to get them to book an appointment. And if you don't have that information, you don't have the opportunity to follow up with them to eventually get those people who did not self-book their appointment, follow up with them to manually book their appointment. So depending on what stage you're at in your business would depend on which campaign you would want to maybe test first or spend a little bit more energy on. Now, if you don't have leads and you don't have appointments on your calendar, I'd recommend that you start with instant pages or lead forms. If you're a little bit more established and you're just now getting into TikTok ad strategies, I'd recommend that you go with campaign number three, conversions that goes to the opt-in page, VSL application, and goes to the calendar page. And I recommend that everyone has retargeting campaigns up because it's your lowest cost per appointment. It's the lowest hanging fruit that you have. So that's why we recommend setting up a TikTok pixel on all of your pages as soon as possible to start collecting that data so you can run retargeting ads. If you enjoyed that episode, press here for a list of all of the best videos from our channel. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later.